teaching the group while nurturing the individual. Just one of the many talents of a teacher we met in Waynesboro. She is a bright light in Burke County Middle School. Brad Means joins us now. And Kenesha Reddick makes math and science come to life for her middle schoolers. She's so full of life, her students can't help but feed off of that. They're excited. They're energetic learners because of her. Mrs. Reddick is the winner of the Golden Apple Award. Lots of letters in the lesson plan when we stopped by Kenesha Reddick's math class. It was all about GCF and LCM. Greatest common factor and least common multiple. So uh, eventually we will work into word problems, but before we did that, I wanted to make sure that they understood what the word problem was asking them before they worked with the numbers of the word problems. Mrs. Reddick's classroom is a place to tackle problems as a team. You cannot effectively learn in solitude. So allowing them to communicate and work together and let each other know that it's okay to make mistakes because we are all in this together, that's what gets them engaged. As you can see, Mrs. Reddick has to teach a large group of students, but somehow she's still able to reach individuals to make sure they succeed. So you have to be able to really see who needs the most help and kind of like separate who needs help and who can wait. Um, with us working in groups, I can hear the group conversations and see if they're on the right track. They may not need me, but if the whole group is silent or the whole group isn't working, then they need a little bit more of my assistance. The person who nominated Mrs. Reddick used the word light several times to describe her. It's easy to see why. Every morning before I make my way out of my car, I say a prayer and the, the prayers always let my light shine. And I think I always say that like around the building and to my school and to my students. Kenesha Reddick isn't just teaching. She's making an investment in her school, her community, and herself. I just know that I am molding the young minds of our future. To break it down in the easiest terms, like they're going to have to take care of me. So it's my job to take care of them while I have them. Way to go, Mrs. Reddick. And if you have a teacher you'd like to nominate for the Golden Apple Award, it is easy. Just go to WJBF.com and fill out a nomination form.